telling you, man, Vipassana, it was so great to just sit there and exist. No talking for 10 days, just silence. You forget how noisy life is, people talking themselves up, having all these me, me, me bullshit conversations about nothing. It makes you see the important things for what they are. So I decided I'm gonna quit fashion, spend a bit of time getting to know my kid. <clears throat> you have a kid? Yeah, I've got a six-year-old. He's got his own personality and everything. Actually, it came up during the first stage of my meditation. I had all these negative feelings towards myself for not being there for him. But then when I reached level six, I came to this acute awareness that and if I'm not me, just the observer of me, then really, who am I to blame myself for not being there? Hey, Phoenix. Oh, hey, man. <clears throat> I'm telling you, Vipassana. It's so great to just sit there and exist. I don't know why people go away for 10 days of silence and self-reflection just to come home and not shut the fuck up about it. No, because it's a challenging journey, Dom, seriously. If you want to go on a challenging journey of not talking to strangers, buy a fucking bus ticket and do a lap of Sydney, but shut up. Sorry to be the one to break it to you, but you didn't achieve anything great. All you did was not talk to a bunch of strangers. I mean, no one in Bondi talks to strangers anyway. Well, not talking to someone is only one part of it. It's actually as much about self-reflection and looking inwardly to change. Self-examination, self-observation leads to self-actualization and self-realization. It sounds pretty selfish to me. No, Dom, it's selfless. How is that selfless? You go away for 10 days to focus on you and you alone. You don't even talk to other people, let alone acknowledge their existence. I mean, it's cool, fucking go away on Vipassana, that's great, but don't act like you're doing something awesome spiritually. And I hope you spend your 10 days meditating on what a selfish cunt you are. People who go on about Vipassana are the same kind of dickheads who talk to you when you're trying to read a book. Okay. Don, you would love Vipassana. All these eclectic people going through spiritual change, getting to know each other, having new experiences. Hmm. So what you're saying is that there would be hot boilers down to FARC? Precisely. Hmm. Removing distractions from this point on, you are no longer allowed to talk to anyone. Can we talk telepathically? As long as we do it quietly. Um, why do you sound Indian? Well, as I get more spiritual, my telepathic voice takes on an Indian accent. That's pretty racist. How is that racist? Because you have an Indian accent, but you're not Indian. But I don't have an Indian accent. I just have an Indian telepathic accent. Or what if my telepathic accent is that of a white guy who grew up in India? What, like an albino Indian? No, no, just a white guy who was raised by Indians. But why are you associating an Indian accent with spirituality? I'm not, but this particular white guy happened to be raised by Indians who are quite spiritual. Mm, still feels racist. The most important thing is we're having the conversation. But we're not even having an actual conversation. Oh yeah, that, that's true. Ah, dear, dear, ah, dear, goodness, goodness, gracious me, oh, no, no. I've reached full enlightenment. You have? What the fuck are we still doing here? Check you later, losers. We're out of here. Where are you going? Oh, our work here is done. We've reached full enlightenment. It's only been 40 minutes. Time is but a flat circle to the enlightened few. Time is just a boundary you're imposing on reality in your feeble attempts to perceive it. Hey, you're hot. I fingered you with my mind. Uh, you can thank me later. Okay, let's take a moment. In other words, we're more spiritual than you guys, so you can eat our spiritual dicks. I'll tell you what annoys me most about these fucking spiritual things is they're always being hosted by some fucking guy who did a three-day course online and now thinks he's some kind of spiritual leader. Dom, I think it would behoove your spirit to keep an open mind about this. Honestly, man, if you take life advice off a fucking yoga teacher or some grey-skinned, ring-wraithed, vegan, Vipassana coach, then you're an idiot. Because they're just another normal person who had a normal job and lived a normal life until they got depressed, quit, and decided to sit around all day stretching and telling other people how to live their lives. At least they're not as bad as those inbred life coaches who make millions of dollars by coaching inbreds on how to make millions of dollars. 